Firstly, I want to give thanks to our spiritual father for a great opportunity he has given me tonight. So I can share the word of God to you all tonight in regards to God's word speaking through me tonight. Allow me to speak to you tonight. Listen, open your ears tonight as we hear the word of God. Whatever God has spoken through me to you, and whatever word he has for you and me tonight, as we walk, it's so important that you listen to the word of God. Amen. 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 Come with me to the word of God. Jeremiah 29. 11 to 14. Awa <laughs> E yai le whamoe moe. Ono o tau wala au ai lea i a te au. E o whoi o tau matatalo i a te au. O te whaalongo whoi i a te o tau. E saa ili mai o tau i a te au. Tau te mau a whoi. Pe a o tau saa ili mai i a te au. Mo o tau loto a toa. E mau a lava au e o tau. O lo o feta lai mai ai eowa. O te whaapo sia la o tau tawhianga. Ma o whaapoto poto ina o tau ai nuuma. Ma mea uma na o tu ria ai o tau, o lo o feta lai mai ai ova, o te whaafo sia whoi o tau ile mea, ua o whaata whea ai o tau. Amen. Amen. Ia mo tatou e le marmalama tere le pasa moa, ia tira sila mai runga i le ua vatu e le tatou tusi, e pa penao na soso animo o e le a fiafile ne. English interpretation is up on the board tonight. O le whea ua le a fiafile ne e fa pea. The word of God for you tonight is you must know the plan of God for your life. We've heard the word tonight from Jeremiah. This book, Jeremiah, it's in regards in regards to my family, family, from people who have been taken away from their families, those who were in captivity, and as God's nation were in captivity, God's hand never ceased upon. The word for you tonight is you must know the plan of God for your life. You must live. And you must know the reason why you're here tonight. Do you know what God's plan is for your life? You should know. You should understand God's plan for your life. So nice to serve God. With all our hearts, we serve God. Your whole belief is reliant on your belief in God. You're serving God. But do you know what God's plan is for you? It's one thing that I know. It's different for us all our plans. And our lives. Different callings for each and every one of us. It calls each and every one of us. He calls me and you. We're not all deacons. We're not all pastors. We're not all pastors of wives. We're not apostles. We're not all apostles. But the call of God is for anyone. 
Amen. 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 As we ponder upon the word of tonight, God's plan for your life and my life. Reading from verse 11 says, For I know the thoughts that you are thinking. You are thinking about the blessings and not the curses. These are the feelings that we feel and we know. Yes, we must do the will of God in regards to our calling. In regards to you knowing what God's plan is for your life. The reason you no longer rule over you. But God is in control of your life and my life. Amen? Amen. Amen. When God gives you your plan, you should understand his plan. You should use his plan. You should realize what God's plan is for your life. You don't do what you want to do. You don't do what you think. You don't do what you feel. But God is in control. Amen. 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 As we speak about God's plan, our plans, plans, we don't know where they will end up. But God's plan, you will be astonished about God's plan. You cannot believe at the wisdom, the supernatural plans that God has for you when it comes to people's plans. We should use God's plan. Amen. Amen. You know, any um, athlete you cannot hit the field you know the rugby players you can't hit the field without knowing what the rules and regulations Amen. are Amen. the coaches have already laid a plan for you where you're going to play what your position is going to be what are you going to do what you eat your nutrition when you rest as an athlete it's like God's plan for you. God has every timing for you. Time for you to rest. Time for you to hear the word of God. The time for you to thank God. Hallelujah. I want to talk to you about God has given us the plan that we need to follow. Come with me to Matthew 28. Ole nei, ia o te wātu e whainu o malawa masoo, ma pata ti suatu a tēnā te ole swafa te mā, ma lea te li'i, ma lea ngā pa ia. Ia o te wātu e 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 wātu that's God's plan for you and me. For us to go and make others. And baptize those. In his spirit. The most important is that I will be with you. Every day he will never leave you, never forsake you. He is with you. He has laid the plan for you. It's for you to walk. Amen. Amen. How wonderful and beautiful is the plan of God. But there is a plan that you should think about. Here's the plan. 
Here is a plan that is outlined for you. To, to go and bring people to Jesus Christ. To go and bring people to Malaya Jesus Christ. Fantasy, yeah? Everybody together. Yeah. To, to go, go and bring, bring people, people to Jesus Christ. As membership in his family. And to develop them into Christ-like maturity. Through the word and the work of the Holy Spirit. And to equip them in church. And life mission in the word. In order to glorify God's name. Amen. 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 The mission Amen. and the vision. Amen. Amen. What a wonderful plan God has for us. Let us go. To the first couple, Adam and Eve. What a wonderful plan he had given Adam and Eve. He put them in a beautiful garden to look after everything, all the different plants, everything. They had everything. Amen. What a wonderful plan he gave Adam and Eve. To put into the garden of Eden to look after. He ruled. He looked after everything. God was there. We need to listen to God. But the reason. Oh, they demolished God's plan. Amen. Amen. I want to talk about Moses. The plan that God gave Moses. God said to Moses, Go, go and bring my people. God's plan. He gave to his to walk by his plan. You know what? What a great plan he had Even though he did not, Even though his heart was not there. But he went in obedience. David, the shepherd of God. Shepherd to all of us. David stayed in the plantation. But God planned. He had, plan. he had a plan for David. Even though he could smell the animals. Even though he stayed with the animals. Even though he knew it was not a nice place. But he was sure. God's plan had given to him. It's an everyday story that we know. He was a What a wonderful plan. The reason why I brought. There is a plan, an important plan for God for you. Not all of us will be used to be preachers. Not all of us will be used to be lay preachers. As you sit inside Odohu Worship Center, brothers and sisters, have a look to see what God's plan is for your life. What an amazing plan God has. But I don't want to talk about the plan that he had for the I say, world. Let's take the plan that he had for Mary. He would, she would become pregnant with the child. And he would become the king. And he would be the Messiah. Yeah, what an amazing plan that he had for Mary. Yes, spiritually. Amen. Amen. The plan he had for Jesus. He brought his only, his only son. His only begotten son. He is the father of all fathers. He is the God of all God.
Foi meio le plan. The plan. Na foi bom, na foi ano. Hallelujah. Na sasa ya taia. Amen. Na le aisa le o tasi. He had no voice. I was a we fatu nu le le plan na le tu amor. But he came. He came. He came to fulfill. John 3:16. Wa wa fa pia la va ona lo fa mai o le tu ai le laulangi. Wa ia u mai ai lo natali e to tasi. Ina ia le fa no se tasi e fa to tu ai a teia. Ai a mau e ia le o la e fa va. Plan na le tu. It's God's plan. A wina mai lo na lo to tasi. He brought his only one and begotten son. Ina ia le fa no se tangata. So that we may live and have eternal life. What an amazing plan that God has for us all. And I say to you tonight, God has a plan. The plan for Samoa. The plan for Samoa. Don't worry. Don't panic. Don't listen to what else is coming out there. Don't think about anything else. God has a plan for Samoa. You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Why? God has his plan. Yes. We may try. God has a plan. Already aligned and ready. I thank God. He has given me a plan. Let you hear the word tonight. To be a testimony about my life. I was brought up in a family. A family with so many kids. 13 of us siblings. But I was the youngest of I us. Know. And it was only me. I came away from the teachings. The plan of God that he had on my life. I don't want to live for the church name. Not a name of a person. One plan that God has for me. Just Jesus Christ. He is who I will take my family. He is who I rely on. He is why I testify. The greatness of God. As I sit and ponder. Thank you God. For his plan upon my life. I have found a family that loves God. I have found, I have got children. A wife that loves God. And I've come into God's family. A family that is based on God. Amen. Give a clap to God tonight. Our church tonight, question for you tonight. Do you know the plan of God for your life? Are you using the plan that God has for you in your life? This plan that God had, his nation wandering around. The plan that God had, his nation wandering around. This is the plan that he had told Jeremiah. God loves his children. I want to end my message tonight. Use God's plan for your life. If God is using you, Use you for a person to testify about God's love. As the word says tonight, we go everywhere, every nation to talk about God's word. Because he is a God that has a plan for you.
So bless God's plan he has for you. You just need to ask God. When God calls you, and then you say to God, here I am. Take me, Lord. Use me, Lord. Do not do what I want to do. Use my hands for your work. Use my mouth as a mouthpiece. Use my legs to spread the gospel. Use myself to do your plan. Church tonight, the word for tonight for you. Live as a person who understands your plan. Live. And give your plan to God. All you got to say to God is, Here I am. Do your will. And not mine. So, amen, when we do the will of God, God's way is for us to be blessed. God's plan is for you to be blessed. The ways to live, the ways for you to be free, if you hear the word of God tonight, God's plan is for your plan. So different individually, our own plans from God. But you must remember it's a plan that God has brought. When God brings a plan for your family, we need to abide by it. To be blessed. To be prosperous in our children. To be blessed. The church. And especially the world. The plan that God has for you. No one can take it away. Oh, the devil may try. The people will try it. But God's plan will always be victorious. Even though we know that our hearts is our island Samoa, but we rely on God for whatever is going on. Yes, God's plan. We thank God for reminding us God's plan is there. Thank you, He has brought up a leader that loves God, that loves the country, that loves everybody in Samuel. Give a clap offering to God tonight. The Master calling. Amen. Bless your hearing tonight. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen. Amen. Next, in the time of the
Let's sing it again. 
until now, still pursuing this life. Of all the other things that I want to do in life, I love people aside in order to pursue the plan of God for my life. Because I tell you, at the end of the plan, you are going to experience the wonderfulness of God. And whatever you be so desire to do in life, the most amazing thing that any human being shall do is to pursue the plan of God for your life. Hallelujah, Jesus. And when anything else comes in the way, you just boost the sign of all those things. In order that the plan of God shall be fulfilled for your life. Lift up your hands and sing one more. My soul says, My soul says yes. My soul says yes. Says yes. Say yes. Say yes. Say yes. My soul says yes. My soul says yes to your plan. Say yes to your plan. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. My soul says yes. My soul says yes.